Okay, let's meditate for a few minutes. And now Pawana Sapakna. When you get in touch with the breath, you're in touch with the, the force of life. So it makes sense that if the breath is not comfortable, something's wrong. Ask yourself, is it because you're focused in the wrong spot? Are you forcing the breath too much? Try changing the spot of your focus. And when you adjust the breath, try to do it in as gentle as way, a way as possible. In other words, just think about longer, shorter, faster, slower, heavier, lighter. And see if the simple thought allows the body to respond. Because sometimes it gets into a bad, vicious cycle. There's pains, there are pains in the body, and the breath gets squeezed by the pains. And then, of course, the, the breath is squeezed, there are more pains. So think of the breath being able to penetrate everything and make your awareness really broad. Think of the breath going all the way down to the toes, all the way down to the fingers. In other words, give it some space. Give your mind some space. Tell it that it doesn't have to do the breathing. The body will do the breathing on its own. All the mind has to do is nudge it in little directions if it seems that things are uncomfortable, and also to change its perception of the breath, to allow for something more comfortable, to allow for it to penetrate everything. Reminding yourself that the breath is actually there first, before any of your other sensations. The first thing you sense is the breath, even though you may not call it that at that point. But just the energy that allows you to know you've got hands, feet, arms, a body, a head. That's actually there first, before the pain before the uncomfortable sensations. So hold that perception in mind, too. Give the breath priority. It's there first. It has rights. And see if that makes the breath a much more comfortable place to be. Because what we're trying to do here is give the mind something that it likes, at the same time creating a sense of well-being in the body so you can stay with what it likes for a long time. that way by being able to stay, then you'll see things a lot more clearly. Slight changes in the body, slight changes in the mind. They're a lot more apparent when you're very still. And they won't come at the right time. In other words, they don't come at the time that you think they should, which means that you have to be alert all the time and be very patient but very persistent. That way, when the insights come, you're there to catch them. It's like being a hunter. You have to be quiet but alert. And when the insights show themselves, you've got them. Because that's the only way you'll be able to see them, is by being very still and very alert. And working with the breath allows you to have that sense of stillness and alertness without feeling fatigued by it. In fact, it's actually energizing.